Whoopi is known for her hilarious films and comedy, but she has been vocal on more serious matters too. This was seen when she gave her verdict on the tension between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and the royal family. The comedian went viral in March after the Sussexes' interview with Oprah Winfrey in March. She was discussing the situation with the royal family alongside Meghan McCain during a CBS interview. Ms. McCain said, The American experiment is the way to go, and if we have two American women, Meghan Markle and Oprah Winfrey, who are single-handedly finishing what George Washington and our revolutionary counterparts did, I'm all for it. After an awkward silence, Whoopi simply replied, OK. In the Oprah interview, Meghan alleged that a senior member of the royal family raised concerns over her son's skin color before he was born. The Duchess also claimed she was denied help for her mental health, adding that at one stage she didn't want to be alive anymore. Harry also claimed that Charles and his brother William are trapped in the royal family. Following the airing of the interview, Buckingham Palace issued a statement saying the Queen was saddened by the allegations, but added that some recollections may vary. Commenting on the interview in March, Whoopi questioned whether the Queen is in touch with all of the royal affairs. The actress said on US chat show The View, I don't know, I wonder how really connected everybody is. If, the Queen, missed it with Diana and she missed it with Meghan maybe she's not as tuned in as we thought. But I think it'll be interesting to see what happens because it's kind of rare for her to come out and actually say something. And I thought I guess that's where you're at but you might want to remind people where you supposedly stand. Because you've taken up all kinds of positions in the past in the name of the monarchy. And granted, she's not writing all of these things for herself but still I think there's more to come. I don't think this is quite done yet I think people are really fired up about it. After the Oprah interview, various experts analyzed how Harry and Meghan's accusations could impact the image of the monarchy in the long term. Sarah Gristwood, a historian, journalist, novelist and Tudor biographer told USA Today, Charles was damaged back in the 90s by the War of the Waleses, but in recent years he's come to look much more convincing as a king-in-waiting. But Harry's words about him particularly seem to suggest not enough had changed. And that really is a danger for the monarchy. The crisis accelerated the Republican movement, said Anna Pasternak, a royal biographer. She said, the monarchy stands for imperialism, colonialism and an unelected elite body. Hence, at times of familial petty bickering and airing monogrammed linen in public, there is understandably a surge in Republican sentiment. It is hard to understate the current crisis. Nicoletta Gullis associate professor of history at the University of New Hampshire, added, the question is whether a public that still reveres the Queen will be likely to tolerate the monarchy when it is led by Prince Charles and, his wife, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Carolyn Harris, an author and historian at the University of Toronto gave a more positive outlook for the monarchy, saying it has survived crises similar to this previously. She said, Royal history indicates the monarchy has been able to survive a monarch who is personally unpopular if the institution remains strong. The monarchy is good at adapting and reinventing itself. Besides, Meghan is said to have wanted to make Christmas special for everyone, as the Queen said on the same day how much she missed her late husband Prince Philip. Meghan's pal told how she has been gearing up for the holidays and added, they are loving life in California. Another insider commented, it's Harry's second Christmas away from England, and Meghan wants to make sure it's special for everyone. They are creating their own traditions at their new home. Meghan and Harry welcomed Lilibet on June 4, 2021, and they said in their Christmas card that she made them a family. The sweet card also gave royal fans a first glimpse of their daughter in an adorable family snap that also featured their son Archie, too. Meghan and Harry spent 2017 and 2018 with the Queen and royal family at Sandringham but took son Archie to Canada for the 2019 holidays. This is the second year in a row that they have spent Christmas in California. A close friend previously told, they are so happy. This baby solidifies that they are creating roots here in the States.